Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys the location of an EDM super club located in GTA 5. And I think this is the only official time that nightclubs were mentioned in the game. Now you're going to have to stick with me here. I am a little bit under the weather as you can probably hear. But I'm going to try and power through this for you guys. And we're going to be talking about this really cool location that could be used in a future online update. So a lot of the locations I've showed you guys for nightclubs so far have been very obvious, like Split Sides West, Bahama Mamas West, you know, places that not only look like nightclubs, they advertise themselves as nightclubs, but they were never thoroughly mentioned throughout the game. There was only one unnamed EDM super club that was actually talked about for an entire mission. And it's the only like nightclub that actually gets mentioned in game. Uh, and it's a pretty big super club. So we're gonna be talking about that in this video today. So this super club is mentioned in one mission and that is called Mr. Richards. Now in the mission, Mr. Richards, Michael is actually tasked to help out Solomon Richards. He essentially becomes his assistant. Now the objective of this mission is to go after an agent of a bunch of actors and that agent is Rocco Pelosi. Now if that name sounds familiar to you, well it should. Rocco was actually a huge character in The Ballad of Gay Tony in GTA 4. But he returns in Grand Theft Auto 5 where he is shown to be in Los Santos after he escaped from Liberty City. Now after coming to the city, Rocco left the mob business and became a talented, corrupt agent who organized an extortion scheme by persuading famous actors to demand bigger paychecks from their studios in order to halt productions and blackmail studio executives into buying him out. Now, what's interesting is Rocco also seems to be interested in the nightclub business as reported by the Daily Rag. Now, if you don't know what the Daily Rag is, it's a printed newspaper that can be found in vending machines throughout Los Santos. And throughout the game and after a mission is completed, the newspaper will publish uh, news related to a storyline on the in-game internet article. So after you complete the mission, Mr. Richards, the Daily Rag confirms that he's about to turn an abandoned warehouse in East Los Santos into an EDM super club fitted with jacuzzis, chicks in cages, sparklers in bottles, different themes per floor, and open 24-7. It was scheduled to be open next year from game time, so since the game time and campaign is 2013, it would open in 2014. Now, spoiler alert, when the game takes place, Rocco attempts his scam once more with movie producer Solomon Richards and his most recent movie, Meltdown. However, Solomon sends Michael to threaten Rocco into giving up his extortion, he actually sneaks into Rocco's building, the club in which he's trying to build, and confronts him on his helipad, beating him severely and then forcefully taking the actor and director he'd been withholding back to the studio. Now here's why this is important, because later on, a vengeful Rocco and his friend and associate Gianni break into Solomon's studio and assault Solomon for sending Michael after them and following their scheme. However, Michael arrives just in the nick of time and as he was about to meet with Solomon and after helping Solomon get up on his feet, Solomon tells Michael to get Rocco and Gianni. Michael obliges and chases both Rocco and Gianni out of the studio and throughout the city. After optionally wrecking their car, Michael kills Gianni and then kills Rocco as well. So Rocco's death is actually important because he was the guy who was behind setting up this nightclub in GTA 5. Well, if he's dead, he can't do that. So since we know Grand Theft Auto Online takes place in present times, 2017, this location might be the perfect spot to start our own nightclub in Grand Theft Auto Online after taking on the project after Rocco. I guess no one wanted to pick it up for a couple of years. Now, you can actually check out this location outside of the campaign and outside of that mission. In case you guys are wondering where it's located, uh, it's kind of located in Cypress Flats. I'll have it on the screen right now. It's kind of hard for me to explain. I'm pretty sure it's like this old refrigerator warehouse because it says like frigid on the side. And there's also a snowman that we can see a little bit later on. Now, what's pretty interesting about this location is it actually has a lot of dynamic elements to it. There's a garage that you can actually go inside that's a really big size. It doesn't lead to anywhere, but you could park, you know, one or two or three vehicles in there depending on their size. So that's kind of interesting, a dynamic garage location. Once you get on the roof as well, you'll notice that there is a lot of like doorways that you can go inside, but none of them seem to lead anywhere. 
Now, I'm wondering if Rockstar programmed it this way because NPCs eventually either came out or through these doorways, but there's three of them in total, and they all just lead to nothing. Like, they're just a small corridor leading to another door that doesn't open. Now, if we take a look at the size of this building itself, it is actually pretty massive. Uh, it's a relatively big warehouse. It doesn't look like a nightclub at all, but maybe this is something we have to consider. Maybe Rockstar is going to go in a sort of more industrial underground direction with these clubs. And if so, this probably would be a perfect spot to do that. Now, if we actually use the map editor and go inside of the buildings themselves, they are for the most part completely hollow, which I guess would be good for Rockstar. It allows them to just plop an interior in there and they can sort of do whatever they want. Um, so that, I guess, makes sense. It is a really industrial area. As I said, it's like the frigid, sludgy, fruity ice area. Uh, there's like a, a little snowman nearby. So there's a lot of different and unique aspects about this building. But technically, this was supposed to be the location of the EDM Super Club that Rockstar was going to be building in GTA 5. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Now that you know what was supposed to happen here, and now that you know the location of this EDM Super Club that Ballad of Gay Tony member Rocco Pelosi was going to be building, do you think Rockstar is going to utilize this in Grand Theft Auto Online? Even though it's been a few years later, obviously we know that no one has built out the space, so would this be the perfect opportunity for maybe someone else from the Ballad of Gay Tony, since Rocco is dead, and our online characters to lead a life building an EDM super club in this spot and in this location? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Do you think it would work? Do you think it wouldn't work? Let me know what you're thinking down there. If you guys did go to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.